Hey Fletcher family. Today I want to talk to you guys about gospel encounters. Gospel encounters are mouth to ear proclamation of gospel truth with an invitation to respond. And so they aren't full blown gospel presentations, but you can think of them as check marks on the road to a gospel presentation. And so it, it may be as simple as asking if somebody goes to church or pulling somebody aside and, and praying with somebody who is struggling, or it might be just giving good, solid biblical advice to a coworker in a particular area of their life. So take a few minutes to listen to a couple of our members here at Fletcher as they share some of the gospel encounters that they've had over the past semester. This winter, we traveled back to China to visit family and friends. I saw that people's hearts were full of anxiety, especially the education system has oppressed kids to work harder than before. Whenever we had a meal with family or friends, there must be at least one parent has to leave in the middle of a meal to bring the kids home to do homework. I recall a time when I shared God's way with a group of friends when they had been talking nonstop about the correct way of teaching math to their kids. To me, they were slaves, busy making bricks in federal system, but they didn't realize that. I shared with them that the growth of life is produced by following God's way of life. Human's heart is soil for planting. If a seed stirs up the joy of learning, then we have found a seed that's connected to the source of truth and beauty. Then I talk about the analogy of overplanting and overfertilizing plant. Then I share briefly how our family have found a joyful way of sowing, watering, and trimming. At the end of a conversation, one of them said, It seems to me that you live in a different system. I said, Yes, you're correct. Hey everybody, this is Ryan Florin. Um, I wanted to share with you this cool gospel opportunity that I had recently. As some of you all know, my wife and I, we have seven children. And one of our children, Peter, uh, at around one year old, he was, he was diagnosed with cancer. And within the year, he passed away. Um, but in, during his entire life, my, uh, as a family, we chose joy. Um, uh, it's, and we, we lived his life to the fullest. To celebrate his, his heaven day um, this, past, this past semester, I actually handed out uh, packets of Skittles. And the motto for Skittles is, taste the rainbow. And for us, when we see the rainbow, like some of our kids just point up to it, like, hey, there's Peter's rainbow. And uh, it just, it's a reminder of hope, a reminder of how good God is, and just, and just what a great opportunity we, we had with our son, Peter. Um, so this past, uh, this past semester, on his heaven day, I handed out these Skittles, and I explained to the students um, just what a rainbow means for us, and um, just how good God is, and what God has done in our lives. Um, and it's a really cool opportunity for them because I know that's something that they don't, they don't hear from many um, other professors and they don't hear at many other places on this campus. So it was really cool to share that with them. Hello, um, I'm here to share a gospel encounter that I experienced in the last few weeks. I had a friend that is going through a similar situation like we did last year of moving from a comfortable place to, even though it's an exciting move, um, it comes with nerves and uncertainty of what's to come. And I was able to encourage her um, through our experience, how God has played um, a role in everything that we've done from finding a house to finding a church um, and just finding godly friends that have encouraged us through this situation. So I can't wait to see what God does through her and her husband's life um, and the lives that he will encourage um, through his new job. So as you guys are out in the city having gospel encounters, we want to hear about them. We want to hear about them because we want to celebrate the small steps of faithfulness that you are taking to follow the Spirit's lead that, that will lead to gospel proclamation with your friends. So if you go to our website, Fletcher.Church, at the top, under Connect With Us, there's a, a tab that says Every Member on Mission. At the very top of that page, it says Submit Your Gospel Encounter. And it's going to ask you a couple of questions to kind of hear your story and ask if you want to share your person of peace with the prayer team. And then at the very bottom, it's going to ask if you want to submit a video similar to what you just saw in this video. This doesn't have to be professionally done. It is literally taking your phone, putting it on selfie mode, and filming yourself in the moment for 30, 45 seconds just to share the gospel encounter that you had. Depending on the video and, and with your permission, we, we want to think of creative ways to share that with other people here at Fletcher, to encourage them, to help them celebrate together, together with you, and also give them ideas of some different gospel encounters that they might have. And so we want to ask you, as you are entering the mission field, even this week, would you begin submitting gospel encounters so that we could get every member on mission 
together for our city.